good morning and welcome to the new episode of Dr. Lamba Explains Sikhism. According to Sikhism, the ultimate Guru is the Guru Granth and the Shabbat, the word Shabbat is used for the hymns that are there. However, when we study it properly, we find that the Shabbat and Guru Granth appear to have a different type of musicality as well as a special kind of technology which has unique potential to develop human psyche to handle the problems of the aquarium. It's a, in the body, when you listen to these shabas, sung in a proper manner, produces a certain vitality and in the complex of the mind, they awaken intelligence, develop wisdom and intuition, establish compassion in each person's consciousness. You may believe in Sikhism or you may not, but the vibrations of the music which comes enables you to develop a certain clarity as well as fearless integrity and that's why the word over Sikhs are recognized for their empathy, for their large-heartedness. Now what is Shabbat? Shabbat means sound and Shabbat Guru, Guru means teacher. The simplest meaning would be a special sound that's a teacher. Now Shabbat word comes from two, Shah and Ba. Shah is an expression of ego. The attachments we identify is Ba means to cut up, eradicate. So it cuts up the ego. It's not just a sound. It's not just a wise sound. It's a sound that removes your false ego that occludes the truth from you. Now the Guru word. If you break the Guru into its inner nod, the Atoms of the sound, it is Guru. Gu means darkness, ignorance. Ru is light. I'll join, I'll the pain, I'll join again after five minutes. Please give me five minutes. I'm opening, come up.
I'll have to start my work again now. Imagine it. Yes. So, this situation is very different. And as I was saying, the word Shabbat comes from Shah and Ba, which is ego. Now, similarly, the Guru is a chain form of Gur, which is a technique, and Ru is light, a technique to catch light, that is Guru. So Shabbat, the eradication of Nico, ego, converts you to an enlightened person. Now from where do these words come? They exist from the beginning of the creation. They are the tides and rhythms of the moment of a creative pulse of infinite consciousness. They vibrate in all things continuously. It's the ability to hear and feel them that's what's needed. And Guru Granth basically is not just a collection of, it is an organic unity that binds the awareness and potential of consciousness and the patterns of the Shabbats command the brain and mind with rhythm, sound, construction and breath. Now just as the combining of the atoms has opened the way for the greatest energy in matter, the quantum of sound of the atom that open up the way to the greatest synergy, increasing, enhancing the energy of consciousness and command the chemistry of brain. So the complete neuroscience now is proving that the Shabbat patterns are a legacy to be used and that is what is important. The technology establishes a link with the sense of the infinite, no matter what your mood is. 
as I said, and you will value your wisdom. Now, how does it work? When you repeat the pattern of a song and thought in a Shabbat, those thoughts counter the direction and intensity of the habitual rites. And that is what matters. That provokes a feeling of subconscious patterns of thinking and feeling and make things enhance better. Because the reflex sounds are stimulated by the movements of the tongue, you get maximum benefit. This is called jap, the conscious recitation, rotating the tongue over 84 reflex points and patterns produce a maximum impact on the gross level of the neurodoctrinal system. And as the Shabbat gets established in the nervous system and your subconsciousness, every cell of your body will vibrate with a pattern with you, and that is called the state of Ajaya Jap repeating without repeating. The techniques of the Shabbat are identical to the mantras of Kundalini Yoga basically and can be seen as such. And the impact comes from the masterful use of technology of sound and rhythm. This technology of sound and rhythm is the real quantum technology. As a matter of fact, it's amazing that these people living in the 14th, 15th century had the understanding of the application of science at that time. And in time we will unravel the mysteries of the complex relationship of sound, brain, neuroendocrinology, psychology and behavior. So this technique of Shabbat codified for us are help to mind the secrets of the consciousness. Every person can use them to elevate themselves, to heal the diseased mind the diseased body, to develop stamina and to enhance intuition. That's the most important. They need not know the science of process. You just need to apply the technology of the Shabbat. And this conscious, unconscious recitation, reflexing on the body, is what it is really required. The human body, now I'm coming to that because how it receives is similar to a musical instrument. A musical instrument is constructed with strings and each string acts like a meridian. So the nerves of the human body are those strings and is a flow of the energy, cosmic energy that cascades from the crown of the head, the tenth gate, like a waterfall, and that enhances your capability, your ability to deal with it. And that makes the whole thing different and perceptions enhanced. So if you can vibrate a pattern in the central channel, it will induce a synchronized pattern through the rest of things. To vibrate a shop of the central channel, you must become still, concentrate, meditate. When you're meditating with the eyes closed, you would see the sound percolating from the ears down the spine 
to the heart on one path, going up in the brain, and you are in a state of bliss, and that is what is the name of the path of the shabad. Each movement of the tongue when you are reciting, when your tongue touches the upper palate, stimulates the meridian points. These points are like a keyboard input on a computer. The ultimately these vibrations go to the vital areas of brain, body, the hypothalamus, just below the thalamus, in the midline of the brain, connected by the blood vessels. So the special patterns stimulate the hypothalamus and change the chemistry of the brain. And thus, this quantum technology makes the Shabbat an advancement of neuroscience which was utilized by the gurus to enhance the capability of the human beings and make them almost divine.